Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Something special is coming. That is Elon's own words. But if we follow all the breadcrumbs that Elon and Tesla have shared, it is pretty clear that Tesla is not just coming with a little update with a new hand for the Optimus robot, but a whole new generation. Their Gen 3 of Optimus later this year. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So, Elon did say at the shareholder meeting, Tesla is working on the latest hardware revision of the Optimus robot. And, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year or early next. But it will also be able to talk. Elon has already confirmed this, as he said. And yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. So you will be able to customize the voice and the personality. So I hope and think that Optimus by the end of this year with the latest big update will get a voice. Of course, from XAI's last language model, Croc, as this will be the main form of communication with the robot talking to it just like we do with other humans. But as Elon said, it will get to know you and know what you like. So you don't even have to tell it to make a cup of coffee. When you get into the kitchen, it will already have made it for you, ready at the table, at your seat or in your favorite chair. That is, of course, a bit out yet. As Elon also said, this year it will be very task-specific training. They are trying to teach it some specific task it needs to learn. But as he said, it will be a very generalized robot and probably by 2026 it will be able to do a wide range of things, even including things it has never tried before. But because it knows how to pick up things and fold a t-shirt, it will also understand what to do when you ask it to pick up something it has never tried before. Remember, the robot will even be able to learn from watching videos of humans doing a task. So the learning will come very, very quickly when the design is nailed down. So it might never have tried to take off a coat and hang it on a coat stand. But it might have seen a video of somebody doing it and understand what you mean when you ask it to hang your coat on a coat stand, even though it have never tried it before. So it should learn very, very, very quickly and be very generalized robot already by 2026, according to Elon. Uh, before, and, and then we'll move into a limited production next year of Optimus. Limited production for use in our factories where we'll test out the product. And my prediction is next year we'll have over a, th over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. I think if you fast forward a few years, uh, it really will be quite a generalized robot. Like, uh, say two years from now. Like, like next year, it'll, like this year, it's still quite specific, you, you know, task specific training. Um, so to do a particular task, we, we have to kind of do a fair bit of training uh, to, to, to s solve that task. Um, but at, over time, I think you, you sort of accumulate these kind of training primitives where like calling like walking, for example, is a training primitive. Um, uh, picking something, you know, identifying an object and, and grabbing it is, would be a primitive. Um, and these primitives are then generalized to, to anything. Because we have also just learned that XAI has just turned on the world's most powerful AI training cluster in the world. And Elon also wrote, this is a significant advantage in training the world's most powerful AI by every matrix by December this year. So I think there is a good chance that Croc will be ready for a little demo by the end of this year. 
with the new design. And this also show how much Elon companies are pouring into AI at the moment. As we know, Tesla is also building a supercomputer in their Texas factory as we speak. And we have not seen any other robot company putting this amount of money into AI training because the startups simply doesn't have this kind of capital as Tesla does. So by the end of this year, we should get a sneak peek of what the final design of the robot will look like. Tesla can of course continue to improve it over time, but the basic design they will probably have nailed it down. And we will see what they have come up with. Because Elon said he expects that Tesla will have over a thousand robots working in the factories already next year. So that means that they are getting very close to the final product design. And we saw Elon write on X that the new robot will be something special. So we are definitely talking about more than just a new hand as they have been talking about with the 22 degrees of freedom, meaning that it will be able to even play the piano. And you, I mean, what you're seeing here is our current generation uh, hand and arm, but our next gen which has 11 degrees of freedom, our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. I think that is a demonstration worth waiting for. The day that Optimus plays a classic piece of music on the piano to open an AI day event. That should make believers out of even the most skeptical people. But it will not only be a new hand we are waiting for. They have probably made many new features to the robot including Croc as we just talked about. But as Elon said, it is not a little update. As he wrote, it is a new design. There is no doubt in my mind we are going to look at the Gen 3 robot here as this will have a completely new design. And if we look at all the humanoid robots, I don't think it's unfair to say that Tesla already has the best looking robot on the market even before the next gen coming out later this year. But it will also be better at all the tasks it already have learned, such as walking. We know they are working on the walking capabilities as Mylan Kovac, an Optimus engineer, wrote back in May. Optimus also now regularly take long walks across the office without falling. Further work is ongoing to make it move faster as well as dealing with more advanced terrains all without sacrificing the human-like nature of it. So Tesla is probably having the robot just walking around the office all day just to train the neural network to get better at walking and get the speed up and more capabilities. And they will demonstrate that with the next Gen 3. So I think we have a nice update later this year, not just a new hand of Optimus, but also a language integration and better at basically everything, including walking. And we will get to see what the final design of Gen 3 will look like before they get into limited production next year, where they will try to make at least 1000 robots to work in their factories before they start selling the robots to other companies, probably in 2026. And I know many don't think that Tesla's robot will bring any value to Tesla before they can show some profits from selling them to third parties. But I think we will see Tesla's value rise before because of Optimus sooner rather than later. As we have some of the robotaxi already valued into Tesla's market cap, that is why Tesla's market cap is so high, even though they have not made a single robotaxi ride yet. So I think if Tesla shows off something special, as Elon said, by the end of this year and starts showing it in their factories in 2025 in the hundreds, I think people will start to get where all of this is going. As we are seeing, even mainstream media is starting to talk about humanoid robots and including Tesla in that race. And the valuation of the robots is just out of this world. And one of the reasons why analysts are not valuing in Optimus Robot, and if they do, they are very conservative, is because the numbers becomes nutty very, very quickly. As Elon also explained at the shareholder meeting. I think the bull rate will be probably something ultimately like a billion a year humanoid robots, like actually. Um, and if Tesla just has a 10% share of that, and it might be a lot more than 10%, um, and there's, you know, we make like 100 million Optimus units a year. I just, I mean, for reference, the auto industry is roughly 100 million vehicles per year. 
Um, so, the, you know, sort of similar ballpark, at least within an order of magnitude. And I, I, I think we could make one for a cost of maybe at, at, at really high scale of about $10,000. It's, it's, it's smaller, it's, it'd be less expensive than a car. So, uh, and, and I think if you sold for, sell for $20,000 or something, this is at large scale volume, um, Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. If, if the price earnings multiple is say, I don't know, 20 or 25, something like that, that would mean a $20 trillion market cap from Optimus alone. Yes, you heard that right. One trillion dollars, and that was profits <laughs> a year when they can produce 100 million units a year. Yes, that is why it makes no sense for analysts to get so upset about Tesla's margins are down. Tesla's entire automotive business will become a rounding error on the spreadsheet in the future. But because there is no value creation yet, analysts are kind of not allowed to take this into their calculation, but that is why they miss out on big opportunities like Tesla in the past and definitely in the future. One trillion dollars in profit and 20 trillion dollars market cap from Optimus alone. Nuts. No wonder that Tesla is all in on this robot, as this will probably be one of the most valuable things we humans will ever create combined with AI. As Elon continues to say, they will focus on scalability. They will not make a bunch of different robots. Their only focus is a great humanoid robot, because that will also help them to get to economy of scale faster, when they only have one robot to focus on instead of 20. Just like we have seen Tesla getting to economy of scale on their EVs and earning money on them, whereas someone like GM is focusing on more models but not on scale. So they are still not profitable on EVs, and Tesla still sells 20 times the units as GM, even though GM has already more models than Tesla. And it will probably be a long time before GM will become profitable. And this is the kind of focus that Tesla has on Optimus as well. Getting this to scale, making it easy to manufacture and cost effective. And here is why the other startup companies will have a hard time copying what Tesla is doing with Optimus and why Tesla will have a big piece of the humanoid robot market. Tesla is going to be by far the leader in that. Um, you're seeing a lot of uh, uh, robot startups. Um, and, uh, but I think it's actually very challenging to, to do Optimus as a robot startup because what we found to make Optimus work We've had to design, every, design from first principles, from scratch, uh, every part of the robot. So the motors, the gearbox, the sensors, uh, the power electronics, the communication system, everything had to be done from scratch. We, we found that there's basically nothing. There's no supply chain. So even though there are many electric motors made in the world, there's no supply chain for the types of motors and sensors and gearboxes that are needed for a humanoid robot. But because it requires so much uh, ground up design, designing every motor, gearbox, sensor, power electronics from scratch, it's, it's very hard for a startup to, if not impossible for a startup to replicate that. But at Tesla, we have the world's best electrical engineering. We, uh, I think we've got the world's best mechanical engineering for, for gearboxes and, uh, and, and for um, you know, electric motors, power electronics. Uh, so, you know, we have the resources to do that. It, it, it applies quite well. Uh, and then you also have to have the, the brain. You need, the, you, need the, 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 you need a power efficient inference computer, um, which we've got for the car, and we'll be using an Optimus. Uh, you need AI, real, the, you need to be the best in real world AI, and Tesla's the best in real world AI. So you need all of these, you need a very strong hand of cards in order to um, make a compelling uh, robot. And then you, you also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars, you actually need to design for manufacturing and be very good at manufacturing. Um, and what, in my experience, prototypes are, are easy compared to volume manufacturing.
Prototypes are easy, production is hard, uh, relatively speaking. So Tesla has the production capability, it has the engineering capability, and it has the AI hardware and software capability. And we always hear how much computer power and energy is needed to run AI. But Tesla also have a big advantage here, as they already have created one of the best AI chip in the world. Not just one of the most powerful, but one of the most energy efficient AI inference computer chips in the world. Because that is what Tesla has in their cars. They cannot have an AI control in the car by sucking the battery dry because they need to do some AI inference to drive the car. And Tesla has made this chip themselves as well, making it very, very difficult, if not impossible, as Elon says, to copy what Tesla is doing here. We are witnessing a real arms race in humanoid robots. I even visit one of the players in China, UB Tech, for my other YouTube channel, Best in Tech. If you haven't seen my two first adventure videos on this channel, you should definitely check them out. I will leave a link down below. But there we also got a little glimpse of what's to come with Ubitech's little Alpha Mini, as it is already talking with kids in schools and helping them with questions, as you can talk to it and get answers and so on, like we know it from Google and Syst and Siri. These little robots can't help you with any other task around the house, of course, but that is what the big ones are for, and what Tesla is betting on that they can deliver to the market sooner than most people think. But the race is on to become the dominant force in the next big industry. That will become probably the biggest industry we will ever create. And I think Tesla will show off Gen 3 by the end of this year or beginning of next year. And that will be a peak into the future. As I think Tesla will become the dominating force in humanoid robots. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>